Hey, what's going on everybody? And welcome back to another video. Now, before I get into this video, I would just like to explain to you guys um, <clears throat> what has been going on this past week. Now, for the past seven days, about week, I have been uh, really ill. Um, yeah, I've been really ill. Um, I had this really, really high temperature. Um, I was physically sick uh, a lot. Um, I wasn't able to eat. Um, I mean, my head was absolutely thumping. It was hell. And uh, yeah, so I've been ill for the past about week, just under a week. Um, hence why the Doctor Who reaction video uh, hasn't actually come out yet. Um, but obviously, I will be rescheduling it, um, and it should be out some point next week. Um, now, now that I've explained what's happened um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you um, my old book collection now it's not a very big one and it's not a very good one um but it's just a nice little collection of like little old books they're not like really old um you know most of them are about 50 60 years old um and i'll be telling you how i acquired each and every uh one of them so we have two bags and two books here uh, my head's a bit of a mess because it is cutting as you can tell I mean, it's gotten so messy. Anyway, I've got two bags. So we're going to start this gigantic bag here. Oh. And uh, this is a set of books. Um, this is called, and I have shown this on the channel before, Harmsworth's Home Doctor. Um, this is... T to Z, homeopathic and veterinary sections, general index. Um, now I don't know when this book uh, was created and or published, as I can say. Um, it's got some images on the inside. Yeah. Now, by the look of the book, and I could be wrong, um, by the look of this book, I would say roughly about 1950s, 19, 1960s, um, but I could be wrong. Uh, and this book comes in one, two... Three. Let me just move this over there because I haven't got much room. So in three, four. I'm just trying. <laughs> this is really difficult. Ugh. Four. And uh, I'm assuming. Okay. There's another two in there, um, another two books in there, but I'm not going to get them out because they are really heavy books. Now, I got the first two uh, of these books um, whilst I was part of the charity shop. And uh, I'll tell you what, let me just pause the video whilst I put these back and then I'll get right back to you. Okay, so. As I was saying, I've got a bunch of dye on my hands now. Um, as I was saying, I got the first two volumes um, <coughs> of this book. Um, it was like four for a pound, and I picked up a couple of other um, books for that um, price as well, which you'll see later. Um, 
and uh, I think it comes in six total volumes. Yes. Volume six. Um, comes in six total volumes, and I went back and bought the other four for a pound. Um, and actually, I got pretty lucky because. Uh, yeah. So next up is um, away. <clears throat> next up we have this bag. Okay, next up is we have a third edition. I believe this is third edition. Um, I'm not too sure though. Let me just check. Yeah, I, I believe this is the third edition of um, J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit. Um, this was printed in 1966. Um, I'll just give you a few looks at the uh, pages there. Very nice couple of pages. Obviously, you've got the uh, got a sketch, very early sketch by the author, um, illustrated on the back. Very nice. I'm guessing that's supposed to be Smaug. Very nice little book, actually. It's a nice little feeling book in the um, Next, I'm going to put these back on. Next up, we have uh, Silver Nutmeg by Nora Loft. Uh, lovely, lovely little book. Oh, by the way, I picked this up in uh, a local bookshop. For a pound, I believe. I think I can't quite remember where I picked this up from. But, uh, yeah, uh, this one was in the fourth for a pound one that I mentioned last time with the first two volumes of that other book. Um, so, yes, this is Silver Nutmeg by Nora Lofts. Um, now, I don't actually have an exact date for the publishing of this specific book. Oh, sorry, yes, I do. This is a second impression um, published in October 1947. I don't know if you can see that. It's 1947. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely book. Um, Pages feel lovely in your hands. It's a lovely, lovely book. Um, yeah. So next up. Now this was a pound. I got this for a pound in a, in a local bookshop. This is the great, oh sorry, that great Lucifer. Um, yeah, I have no idea what it's about. I've not read it yet. I think this was published in sixty something. So this book's actually. One of the uh, younger books. Oh, 1960. Uh, exactly. This paper is very fidgety. 1960. Um, it's a very nice looking book. Um, as you can see on the top, it's got a nice little red bit. Uh, but yes, very lovely looking book. I've not read it yet. Some lovely illustrations though. Uh, yeah, only a quid. Very good. Uh, next up, we have this. I picked this up in the same bookshop. Um, this is about Queen Victoria. Um, and it's a very lovely looking book. I thought that would look absolutely lovely on a shelf. Um, this was, I believe, printed in 1964. Um, again, one of the younger books. And this is just about uh, Queen Victoria. Uh, I bought it uh, for a pound in a bookshop. Uh, there's a local bookshop where I live that uh, does books for a pound, um, which is very good, very good price. And uh, yeah, so I picked this up for a pound. Next up, we have um, 
we have uh, Love's Labour's Lost, which actually doesn't matter now. So I'm just going to quickly combine this. We have Love's Labour's Lost and Twelfth Night, uh, some of Shakespeare's works. And now I picked this up as a little Doctor Who reference uh, because Love's Labour's Lost um, featured in the Doctor Who episode The Shakespeare's Code. Um, it sequel Love's Labour's One. Um, obviously was the main focus of the episode. Um, again, very nice feeling book. Um, I got these two, uh, two quid all together, one pound each, uh, in the same shop, <coughs> the same day. Um, this one was printed, I think, 1963? 1965, sorry. And this one, I believe, was 66 or 64. I can't quite remember. Let me just... They are. Uh, 1962, sorry. So yeah, uh, very nice, very nice books. Um, and I'll tell you why it won't matter in a bit because I've got a really, I mean, the latest book in my collection is fantastic and unlike anything uh, I've ever owned before. It's not rare, valuable or anything. It's just um, so next up we have Zamil's Extraordinary Adventures. Um, I believe this is from 1905, I think. Uh, 1902, sorry. Um, but yeah, this is a, this is a obviously that's a yeah lovely illustration there. Um, this book's over a hundred years old. Very cool, actually. I think it's supposed to be like a child's children's storybook, which I actually uh, need to read. So I have been meaning to read this one. But uh, yes, I picked this up, I think, in Norwich uh, in the charity shop. I think it was £2.50. Um, I saw it was old and um, up to the price tag off it now. I saw, I saw it was old looking, so I looked into the pages, and uh, I thought, oh, this feels old. So I looked at 1902. I thought, oh, I'll get that. And uh, yeah, so I got that from a charity shop in uh, Norwich. See, I, t I tell you what, right, here's a top tip for you. If you want to collect old books, because um, the books I collect, they're not valuable. They're just old, right? Um, if you want to do that sort of thing, um, then I do highly recommend uh, charity shops. Uh, which is charity shops, you know, um, stuff stuff like that. Facebook Marketplace is a good one, um, or like eBay, like job lots, like cheap job lots, like ten quid for like a bunch of old books. They're really good, um, because yeah, you get a bunch of old books and for relative, that's what I jacket for relatively cheap, um, and so that's how I often find most of my books. This one is super old. This is The Chariots of the Lord by Joseph Hockey. Uh, and this is from 1905, I believe. This book is actually younger, yes, uh, than the other one. Um, this is Second Impression. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can tell just by the look of it, this these pages are old. Um, but yeah, you can tell that you can tell that, uh, I mean, by the binding itself, I think has gone. I don't think this is the original binding. I think this is the bit inside of it. Um, super, super old book. Um, I love it to bits. Next up we have a book of Keith Payne's books, um, which is 125 this year. Um, possibly, I love this book. I don't know. Um, yes, this is the memoirs of Sergeant. I think that says Borgen. Um, by the way, I picked that up in uh, Cancer Research UK, which is a charity shop. Um, that was 50p, and I thought, that's a bargain, I'll get that. Uh, yeah, so 
this I got it in the that bookshop I mentioned before where I get you know, all the books are a pound literally every book is a pound which is brilliant absolutely marvelous and uh, I mean yeah this is this book is from 1899 all this book 125 uh, years of age and it is marvelous and I rarely, rarely touch it because it's so old and fragile. Um, right, so that is that bag done. Um, next up, we have this. Um, and I believe, again, this is just a simple story. I just got this in the charity shop. I can't remember which one it was. But I was doing some shopping in, uh, in Norwich. And I was going around some charity shops. And this was £1 something, I think. Um, yeah, so this is called The Story of the World in Pictures, um, and this is from the year 19, I think it's 1920 something, oh sorry, 1934, my apologies, um, so this is from 1934, so this is about 90, 90 years old, actually no, sorry, is 90 years old, it isn't about 90 years old. It is 90 years old this year. Um, so yeah, that's rather cool. And inside um, this lovely book, again, it's just like little pictures with little captions and stuff, which is super cool and easy to read for someone like me with a short attention span. Um, right, so last but not least, something I've been really, really excited about is oh i mean this is brilliant i found this in that bookshop where everything was a pound and i'm chuffed about this uh as you can see that says shakespeare um on the side it says the complete works of william shakespeare um oh, the pages of this book is fucking beautiful it really is beautiful um and i don't know even if this book even is old it might even might not even be that old i don't care this is the complete works of shakespeare the pages are golden and thin like a bible i mean look how thin i mean come on oh that is beautiful absolutely beautiful you can't see that i mean look at that come on That is beautiful. I mean, look look at the way that that. Uh, so I know it's not actual real gold, but the golden lettering has been pressed on there, on the sides. Um, now I can't actually find a date for this. The only thing that I can go on is that the only way that I would find a date uh, for this book um, is if I went to an expert and um, asked. For their advice but it seems to have have pictures from plays and on stages and reenactments of obviously his uh, complete works so I'm thinking this would be 30s no later than 40s uh, in my opinion um, and that's also due to the sort of aged paper yellowing at the pages there I don't know if you can see that but um, Yes, uh, but that that's that's my opinion. Obviously, I'm not a professional, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's such in fantastic condition. I mean, I I was looking in the Shakespeare section because um, I wanted to see if I can get some more of Shakespeare's works, um, and I found the bloody jackpot uh, for it. I really did. What's that? No way. No way. And it comes with a purple little thing. By the way, I love purple. Favourite colour. It comes a little book holder. Looks like the last person to read this, this is why I just found that, was the um, first part of King Henry I think that's four. I can't do Roman numerals. 
Who's soldier now under whose blessed cross we are impressed and engaged to fight? For with the power of England or English shall we levy whose arms were moulded in their mother's womb. Such a brilliant King Richard III, of course. I want to see this is such a uh, such a brilliant, brilliant book. Um, and it's a shame I don't have my big bookcases anymore. I've only got two bookcases. One that's in the hallway. Um, and my hair's gone messy. One that's in my hallway and one that's right over there. When my flat's all clean and tidy, um, I will do uh, a tour. But at the moment, my phone is fucked as well. Um, so I'm waiting to get a new phone or to get that fixed. Um, so... That concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will be getting that Doctor Who episode one, series one, Rose review out to you next week. Goodbye.